Hey guys, Dave here for a, another Power Automate desktop video. Just trying to give you ideas to spark creative ideas to get you to see unique and interesting ways to use Power Automate desktop for the average everyday user or employee and how this can bring value to you because you can essentially hire your computer for free to do the work that you're normally used to doing and the, the idea and the goal here is to free up your time so that you can work more uh, on interesting more excuse me work on more interesting things to do during the day and try to not do this boring monotonous stuff and here's a great example of something that is absolutely maddening or mind-numbing so I just created a free course on Udemy and maybe you're in marketing and maybe you created a bunch of assets or something, right? And so in any event, here's, here's what it is. So I'm using Camtasia and what happens is, is I get a screen recording and then a project file and then I export the project file to an output that I can put on YouTube or Udemy or whatever, right? And so then it creates this folder and inside of the folder, here is my generated MP4 file that I can use in the different social media platforms. And the problem that I'm at facing right now is, is I created this folder called YouTube. What I wanna do is that as a user is I wanna upload all of those MP4 files in a batch in one fell swoop up to uh, YouTube. I just don't want to click, 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 click all day long. The problem though is I'm still going to wind up having to go click, click, click because what happens is, uh, well first let me go into here and I'll copy this out to the clipboard and then go back. I'm going to have to go into here, highlight the file, copy to, choose custom location or choose location down here at the bottom, remove the YouTube folder, paste in that information and hit copy. Right, and so that's a pain in the neck. And so that's, I had to do all of that clicking just to get one item over there. Then I gotta repeat the entire process again just to do the second item. And it just gets monotonous. And of course, yeah, you can get into a rhythm, but the problem is, is I'm probably gonna wind up missing a video because it's mind numbing, it's boring. You know, it's gonna get to the point where, you know, you just hate doing it, but it's a necessary evil. So you probably wouldn't even do this, right? You probably just would say, forget it. I'm not gonna deal with it. And I'm just gonna, if I gotta do all of that, it's gonna be less time to just simply drag and drop into the browser each and every one of these files and or upload them individually because it's just not worth the effort. Well, this is where Power Automate Desktop comes in to save the day and will make your life extremely easy. So here's a flow that I created in Power Automate Desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. And you're gonna see with two simple actions, I'm able to accomplish everything that I wanna accomplish. And it's gonna run in about 15 seconds or less. And so it's really not that hard when we look at it. So on the left sidebar is all the actions that I can do on this computer. And so everything that I need to do is contained in two areas. The file, which is where I'm gonna use this copy files, that you see is in my second step. But the first step, I wanna get the files in a folder. And that's my first step, okay? So that's what I did, is I used files and folders for this example. And when I said in this, if we look at the configuration, I'm looking at all of the files in my new course folder. And I'm also including every subfolder. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a search find uh, mechanism to get me all the MP4 files that's in this root folder and every folder that may be inside of it. And when it's all said and done, I want to take that list of files and I'm gonna store that inside of this um, MP4 files list. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy files, right? So it's plural, one or more, and it's plural, which means I don't have to use any programmatic type of thing where I loop over a list and for every item in the list, put it in there. I can actually just use this very simple action. I'm gonna say file or files to copy, which means it'll take a specific file or you can pass it in a list. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm passing the list in because this, my MP4 files is the output from the previous step. And I'm saying, what do I wanna do? I wanna copy them into this YouTube folder and then don't do anything if there's a file that exists. Anyway, so that's all said and done. That's, that's is basically as hard as it is. And so when I click play to run it, bam, it happened that fast. So now all I need to do is go ahead and control A and drag all of my files where I wanna be. 
uh, up on YouTube and I've got 14 files. So to create that flow, it took me all of about a minute, minute and a half, and you saw maybe less than 15 seconds, 10 seconds even, to run. So this is how Power Automate Desktop can make your life easier. Let's look at another use case now. Maybe you're a photographer, right? And you use a, a camera and it automatically labels each one of your cards. But every time you dump the data off of the card, um, it always has the, it basically resets the numbering. And maybe, um, you know, when you download your images, I'll just create an empty uh, placeholder file here. We'll, we'll just call this IMG, IMG, 001.jpg, right? And so what happens is, is now I got this, this image file that's there, but every time I reset the card or format the card or whatever the case, I always get this generic image 001. And so if you do lots of photo shoots, you're gonna have lots and lots of files called image 001. Well, maybe you put them all in the same folder and what happens now if you wanna take three or four different photo shoots and combine all of those images into a single folder? You're gonna have a problem because you're gonna have multiple IMG001 files. So now you're gonna to need to rename each and one of every one of those files. So with that being said, let's look at how we could go ahead and say, uh, for example, let's just prefix each one of these file names inside of this folder with my initials ds okay so it's basically going to be ds advanced functions mp4 so let's create this live from scratch we'll just call this test just so that we can get into it and so we're going to go through pretty much a lot of the same exercises so i'm going to copy out this particular folder and we're going to start the same way we're going to get files in a folder and the folder is going to be this i don't want to do the subfolder i do want to do just all of the files in that folder. And so now I've got my list and the list is stored in this variable called files. I didn't rename it. I just left it generically the way that it is. This is a short flow. And so it's okay to leave it like that. But if I was doing a longer flow, I probably want to rename it and probably say my list of files or list of pictures or something to that. But always put the word list in there because uh, one of the things that we're going to do is now we're going to go over here and choose rename files. Okay, so here we go, pop this over here, files to rename. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my files. And let's see, what's the rename schema? What do I wanna do? I wanna set a new name, I wanna remove text, replace text, change text, add date time, and make sequential. Hmm, interesting. So let's do, let's just add some text, right? So the text to add is gonna be, we said DS. So let's do DS dash. We're going to keep the extension. We're going to add this text, ds dash, and this defaults is after the name, but let's put it in front of it. So let's before the name. And then if the file exists, do nothing anyway. So that's good enough. Again, two lines. That's it. We're going to save this. Takes a couple of seconds. Okay, it said it saved successfully. And now let's pull up the window. And with any luck here, let's go to view and let's see if we can change this to a list. Okay. So here's our list. Let's run this flow. Let's go over here. Now all of the files should be renamed inside of the folder and they are ds dash and then whatever the file name was. You see how easy that was? So Power Automate can definitely, definitely save you a bunch of time. And you know, this isn't rocket science. There's no programmatic stuff. Again, check out my free course. It'll kind of introduce you to some programmatic terms and how to get the most out of these low code, no code tools so that you can do just regular stuff that you've always done on your computer, but you don't have to spend hours doing it. You spend just a few minutes making a flow to make your life easy, but to go and rename 14 files manually, okay, that might've taken about the same amount of time. But what happens if your photo shoot or you have files in a folder that is in the hundreds. That could take quite a bit of time. And so this would run just as fast, maybe two seconds longer. And so it's totally worth your time to consider this. That's it for this video. We'll see you in a future video. Thank you, have a great day.